I was then a commissioned officer in the medical department of the United States Army and was on duty as a surgeon in charge of the Wounded Commissioned Officers Ward at the United States Army General Hospital, Washington, D.C. There were crowds walking toward the President's residence. These I followed and arrived just at the commencement of President Lincoln's last public address to his people. On the evening of April 14th, 1865, I changed the civilian dress and hurried to Ford's Theater, where I had been told President Lincoln, General Grant, and members of the cabinet were to be present to see the play Our American Cousin. I arrived late at the theater at 8.15. The President's box I saw had been beautifully decorated with American flags in honor of the occasion. The report of a pistol was heard. I saw a man in midair leaping from the President's box to the stage, brandishing in his hand a drawn dagger. Then followed cries the President had been murdered, interspersed with cries, kill the murderer, shoot him. I instantly rose and vaulted over the seats in direct line to the President's box, forcing my way through the excited crowd. I grasped Mrs. Lincoln's outstretched hand in mine, while she cried piteously to me, Oh, doctor, is he dead? Can he recover? Will you take charge of him? Do what you can for him. As I looked at the president, he seemed to be dead. His eyes were closed and his head fallen forward. He was being upheld in his chair by Mrs. Lincoln, who was weeping bitterly. 